Phone slamming has been around for years. Companies change your long-distance service without you knowing, and then you get hit with big bill. The federal government stepped in and made it illegal, but now the scheme is back with a vengeance. Here's investigative reporter John Mattis with this exclusive Unit 6 report. Well, I was a slammer of long-distance service. The man in shadows blowing the whistle on a phone room operation right here in San Diego. The operation slams small businesses, switching their long-distance services to high-priced long-distance companies they didn't order. It's dishonest, it's deceitful, it's illegal. The location looks low-key, but looks can be deceiving. There's about 30, 35 people that work for the company. And the number of business lines they slam every month? Probably. 12, 15,000 lines to be changed. This is criminal behavior. Cheryl Bilbrey, the Better Business Bureau, knows all about phone slamming. Slamming is absolutely illegal. We wanted to find out for ourselves what was going on in the office. We're doing a story on phone rooms and phone slamming. We're wondering if we could talk to anyone. There have been complaints about this business that people are illegally switching people off over to other phone companies illegally. But they threw us out. What you're doing? Let's go down and talk to the guys downstairs. Outside, we tried to talk to some of the workers. You work in the phone room up there? Mm -hmm. But when we mentioned phone slamming, they shut down. Well, I don't want to talk about that. You don't want to talk about that? And ran. Why are you running from the cameras? What do you have to hide? Well, the workers